Today, I have a plugin that I am so ridiculously excited to show you that I built from the ground up for Final Cut Pro. The name of this plugin is Saber. Now, if you've ever used After Effects in your life, you're probably very, very aware of an amazing free plugin from Video Copilot called Saber. And I wanted to recreate that amazing plugin for Final Cut Pro. And the very, very best part is that it is free. I've set it up as a pay what you want. So if you want to slap a big bat zero into the checkout box, you are welcome to do so. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at what Saber can do. So I just have this basic text layer. All I'm going to do is locate my Saber plugin here and click and drag to apply it onto my text. And just like that, the text has this really, really cool looking effect. Now, if you take a look at your video inspector, you are going to see that you have so many options to play around with in this plugin. And that is where its real power shines. First and foremost, of course, you can change the color. So let's say I want this over to a red color. I can change it just like that. You can also change it to have a gradient. So if you want it to be white at the bottom, blue at the top, or we can make it red at the bottom, something like that. You can adjust the gradient middle, all sorts of things to really play around with. Then moving further down, we can adjust the position and scale. So if I drag up the width on this, you can see how the lines actually get quite a bit thicker. And you can use this how you like. So if I drag it way up, all of my text is completely gone, but now it's just this really cool looking blob of effects. Now, something to take note is this plugin is very, very computer intensive. So keep that in mind. You're going to probably have to render it a lot when you're using it to get any sort of preview playback. I tried to optimize it as best as I could, and I'm going to keep trying to do that a little bit more. But again, this is very intense on your computer. With that in mind, we'll move down into the variation settings where you're really going to see your computer start to struggle. At the very top, we have the mode. Now, if you want just some basic neon lines around your text, it's very easy to change it from turbulent over to solid. Then I can move on down to the bottom and drop the opacity on my text. And just like that, we've got these really great neon lines. I'm going to drag that opacity back up and we'll go ahead and go back into our mode settings and change it back to turbulent. Now, underneath that, we have stuff like the detail scale. Now, the smaller you go with the scale, the more intense this is going to be on your computer. So if I drag this down to eight, you can see how that really enhances the effect on our text. I'm going to go ahead and set it back to 12 just to hopefully keep this tutorial running along. There's also the smoothing amount. So if you drag this up, you'll notice how the flames actually stick closer to the text. So I'll go pretty severe with it. And if I play that out, you'll see how the flames are coming off of the text, but this time they're more glued to the sides of it. Moving further down, you have options over the detail strength. So if I drag this up, you can see how that really affects the flames and each of these detail variants are going to give you a different look. Moving further down, we can adjust the distortion amount. So if I click and drag that up, you can see how much more it's distorting off of the text. And again, we could drag up the smoothing quite a bit. And so now it's just coming straight off the text. Looks very interesting and unique. Further down is the cellular opacity. By dragging this up, I love how the cellular looks. It looks almost like embers or sparks coming off of your text. There's also the caustics. So if I go down into the caustics effects, and I drag up the opacity here. You can see right now it's coming off of the bottom. We could drag up the caustic size and again push play. And now we've got these really cool caustics coming off the bottom as well as these really cool effects coming off the top. Further down is your speed and direction settings. So if I want the distortion settings to be going up really, really fast, I just drag that all the way up. And now the distortion settings are going off the top very, very quickly. Moving further down are your glow options. So we could drag up the outer glow and again get a really really cool look on our text. And further down, along with your glow settings are your blending options. And this is going to be very important if you're doing VFX. So we can change the opacity on it to drop it back down so it's not overtaking your image. We could also go into the blend mode options and change it over to something like screen or add. And again, that's going to be very important if you're doing any sort of VFX. Moving further down is the source settings. So what I'm going to do is show you how Saber actually works with any sort of source. So here I have a very complex outline around me. I'm going to drag and apply Saber onto me. And just like that, 
I have this very cringy photo of me with Saber applied. And I have all of those settings that I've been messing with. I could drag down the detail scale, something like that. But if we take a look at the source settings, I can enable distort source. This is actually going to give kind of a heat wave look to our source and mold it around. So if I allow it to melt, now it's kind of melting my face. And if that's too much, we could back it off to 0.05 or something like that. So it's completely up to you how you want this effect to look on your videos. So I'm very excited because you can apply this onto very complex shapes that you create using the draw mask. So if I were to apply this color solid, create a random shape, Shape. Then we can go into Saber, drop that bad boy on there. Now this shape has the Saber plugin applied. We can go ahead and completely remove the source. So now we just have this really cool outline created using Saber. And again, just change these colors to whatever you like and you will be good to go. That is just a very light overview of all the power that Saber has. I'm so excited to be giving this out to everybody. So again, this is completely pay what you want. If you want to download this for free, feel free to do so. I just want as many people to have access to this plugin as possible because the Saber plugin for After Effects absolutely changed how I look at VFX today. So with that in mind, if you want to help me spread this video further, consider pressing that like button, consider pressing the share button this time, and maybe even subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this on my channel. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.